Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that is 2021 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. Six box, um, random team break number two. One spot gets you two teams as well. So the deuces are wild in this one, no vet commons chip. So big thanks to this group of people right here. One spot gets you two, so let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. There's all the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Four and a two, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. We got Jose down to the X line. Four and a two, six times. One, two, And sixth and final time. After six, we got the Twins down to the Oakland A's. Now, if you're watching live, I did just drop the groupbreakchecklist.com checklist in the chat. So give that a gander if you'd like. And trades are allowed. All right. Jose with the Twins, Eric with the Giants, Stephen K with the Rangers, TJ with the Tigers, Eric with the Reds, the X-Line with the White Sox, Chris with the Marlins, Josh has the Pirates, Cleveland Indians, New York Mets, and the Atlanta Braves. Brandon with the Mariners, Ben with the Cardinals, Jose with the Rockies, Michael with the Yankees, the X-Line with the Cubbies, Brandon with the Dodgers. Got my Dodgers up 8-0 on the Angels right now. Scoring a lot of these runs in the top of the fourth and still threatening. Um, the X-Line with the Rays, Jose with the Blue Jays, Michael with the Phillies, Josh with the Brewers and the Red Sox, Ben with the O's, Josh with the Nets, TJ with the Strohs, Jose with the Angels. Chris with the Royals, the X-Line with the Padres, Stephen K with the Snakes, and Josh X-Line with the Athletics. Let's get all this on one page here. Let's sort by column B by team. And I think if you remember, maybe last week, we had done six boxes right there, and we, I marked all of these two so you know they'd be from the same uh, inner case. That one looks like a Z, but I assure you it's a two. That's a better two right there. There you go. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Uh, TJ's got the Astros up for trade. We're going to see if there's any trades, and then when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in this six-box break. So that list you saw on the previous screen is now official, now that it's been printed out. Thanks everyone for making this happen. All right, let's go. Jimmy, what's up? What is your least favorite product to rip as in the opening difficulty, not personal preference, right? Because I love to rip every product. But there, there are products that are difficult to open. I. I want to say that there was like a, I think Upper Deck had like a Series 1 or Series 2 product or something like that. Where the packaging, it's really just the packaging, would just fall apart in your hands. And so I would try to rip and then like a piece, it would be like, it'd be like uh, as if Bubba the Pug got to some paper towels or something like that and then just treads them with his little, little mouth and just leave tiny little pieces all over the place. It's like when a puppy does that. It would shred in your hands like that. I, it, it, was a recent, it was a recent one like that. Like something like this is okay. I can still recover from that pretty quickly. But when like, when like the little flap right here, maybe I could force it to happen, no, maybe not. But when like a flap opens weird like that and kind of tears off in your hands, I mean that adds untold amount of seconds per pack and minutes to a break. But I'll let you know next time. <laughs> next time we do a product like that, I'll keep I'll keep track of it. But there, I mean, recently, and it usually doesn't always happen with the same products from year to year. There's not, it's not really it's never really that consistent. It's just whatever material they decide they decide to use at that time. But like every single pack would end up like this, maybe even smaller pieces. Those are the worst. 
as a, as a breaker, especially when it's like a full case break. There's been some years, not recently, but there's been some years where some Bowman has been like that, like a Bowman draft break or some Bowman has been like that, and that's kind of a nightmare too. Most of the time, the quality is pretty good but across tops, Panini, and upper deck, but every once in a while, there's one that's there's ones that are really frustrating where everyone's just like, oh, come on. All right, so obviously, these are inserts, so stuff like this will ship. Rookie cards, of course, will ship. But these, you know, that's a vet common. That's a vet common. So these ones are not going to... That, that will ship, of course. He's been pitching pretty great. Not today, though, but he's been pitching pretty great. And obviously, any parallels or any numbered cards will obviously ship as well. I think he'll end up getting a nice, nice stack of stuff at the end of the day, by the end of the break. All right, and our first hit, not a first hit, but that's a gray frame right there. Some of these some of these are more shorter. I think the grays are the most common one. And Babe Ruth insert will, of course, ship. And there's Nate Pearson. It's obviously a hit, and I'll definitely ship. Dual Relic. That dual relic will go to Jose, who has the Blue Jays. Yeah, yeah, bold upper deck foil. There was another product. I think it was 2015 Panini Prism Baseball. Now, if you're familiar with Prism product, there's shirt and apostle right here. The the Prism, they'll often there's a very most of you will, most of us won't really notice it. But there's a fine bit of like powder that they'll put in between the cards so that it doesn't either try to prevent it sticking together or try to preserve surface grades when they're when they're just naturally rattling around during shipping or opening or whatever, right? Another Nate Pearson right there. But in 2015 Prism Baseball, you might even be able to see some old videos on our channel. Um, they had put too much powder in there. So you would open up the pack and there'd be like a light coating, like a, it was like, it was like powdered sugar. There would be like, or something else. If, if, uh, if this wasn't a family friendly show, you can use your imagination, but it looked like powdered sugar had scattered over the, over the break table. Not enough to like, you know, not enough to be a lot, but it definitely enough to notice. Not that I would know what the other stuff looks like. Um, 96 out of 99. I've seen, seen him in movies. Spencer Howard autograph. That'll be for the Phillies. That's going to go to Michael Brinson. So that kind of gets annoying. It looks like you have chalk on your hands and stuff like that. What was that one old tops break that we did? Were we like Mike Trout hunting or something like that? There is some, there's one tops Chrome product. And I think that's the, that's the one of the struggles with the Chrome products. The Topps Chrome product where um, where all the cards, or almost every single card was like stuck together, where you don't where you would almost have to carefully piece them apart. Those can get kind of frustrating. Yeah, for the for the most part though, it's pretty fine. See this one kind of falls apart, but at least at least it's pretty smooth. All right, so even if that happens, I can just curl my hand right around there and pop that right there. But sometimes it just all ends up in five different pieces like that. All 
All right, next box. Andres Jimenez. Tristan McKenzie autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. That's the X line with the tribe. And that is, looks like 58 out of 99. I like the, the sort of matte finish on the back, that sort of watercolor paint look. The oil paint look right there. You opened a box of 91 Upper Deck Baseball during the Jordan Baseball Rookie Craze and looked like... I just put the car to the shutter. There's just shavings, the foil shavings everywhere. Yeah, sometimes looking back, you're like, wow, the production on some of these cards are a lot nicer. We're using some a lot better cardstock these days. There's the Odie Tavares. Dual relic for the Rangers. That's going to go to Stephen K. There's Mookie Bet, 21 out of 99. Gallery of Stars. I like that foil up against the blue. That looks kind of sharp. Dodgers offense kind of waking up today, including Mookie Betts. There's Will Crow. This will go to the Dodgers. That'll be for Brandon. Gray frame, Garrett Crochet. I'm sure as soon as I turn this around, it'll go right back the other way. <laughs> Clark Schmidt, Elegance, Tim Anderson. Looks cool. And Davey Garcia. All right, next up. Yeah, the, Jimmy's saying the foil, the cardboard, everything. Couldn't believe the edges on some of the card. Looked like the sheet cutter was as dull as a spoon. I know. When you look at some of those old cards from back in the day, you know, you kind of... I know the popular thing... Um, the popular thing on... Uh, for the kids these days, they be like, oh, they're, they're overproducing, you know, blah, 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 and they're ruining the hobby. I feel like every generation says that, but when you look at like the 80s and 90s and stuff like that, some of those cards are pretty, uh, some of the production is pretty terrible. It's no wonder that you know, the card industry faced a pretty rough time in the 80s and 90s. All right, next box. We got a uh, artist proof Frank Thomas. Forty nine out of forty nine for the big hurt, going to the X line.
Right, yeah, that's why the PSA 10s for those old cards can, can generate so much money. So it's almost near impossible to get. There's Brendan McKay. Quad Relic and Autograph. Maybe we'll see him with some consistent playing time this year in the bigs. 73 out of 99 for the Rays. The X-Line getting randomized Tampa Bay. Like that Jordan rookie year in 86, I mean, the cost of those boxes, I mean, I don't even know what they are now, but they're, you know, th thousands and thousands of dollars, right? So you'll find Jordans in there. You know, like people think, oh, so it must be hard finding the Jordan. No, you'll find, you know, in a box of that 86 Fleer, people say that you'll probably find I don't know, what is it, a 24-pack box or something like that? You'll probably find four, four to six Jordans or something like that. But to find, like, the one that has, you know, grading potential higher than a four or something like that, that's the hard part. You know, that's why, the, uh, that's why those Jordan PSA 9s and 10s can be so much. His gallery of stars, Chris Bryant, not numbered, but it will ship. And there's Alec Baum. 67 out of 99. Two different shades of red there. Two color patch going to Michael Brinson and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies are, uh, Phillies and Braves are tied at threes. Right here, how how are my picks looking today? I need the Blue Jays, ain't, uh, Blue Jays, Royals, and Phillies. I need the Phillies to win that extra innings game. Blue Jays, how are the Blue Jays doing? Blue Jays, Blue Jays beat the Astros, so I've got. I'm, if the if the Royals can win, where are the Royals at? I don't. No, the Royals did not come back from that nine-run deficit. They added a run. All right, so if the if the Phillies win, and they've got two two men on in the top of the uh, top of the extra inning, the tenth. I'll be in pretty pretty good shape for entertainment purposes only, folks. But I am having one of my best baseball seasons in recent memory. Usually I start off, no, usually it's just kind of, I kind of have a rough time getting off the ground, then I'll have a nice like June or July, and then I'll have a bad end of the season, and then no profit, right? But, but so far, so good for me. It's an all, in, all, all that info is on the break schedule and the Joe's Picks tabs if you want to wanna take a look. Uh, Jimmy has a complete 89 upper deck sealed set. Afraid to see what the what the Griffey card looks like, being the very first card at the front of that box. Yeah, at that point, it might it might just be worth just hanging on to sealed. I feel like when I was, my aunt got me a, uh, a full upper deck set. I honestly don't remember what year it was, but it was when I was really young. I think I ended up selling it at some point. I'm gonna try to remember what it was and see if I made a big mistake. I don't think I did, but. All right, next box. It's Monty Harrison frame. And we 
we've got a Ryan Weathers. Always take the Weathers with you. 52, remember that song? I don't know why that just popped into my head. I think uh, the Crowded House song. Remember Crowded House? 52 out of 99. Anyway, Padres, the X line. Ooh. Steve Bird saying he just opened my 89 upper deck and the cards were all stuck together because of the, they were semi gloss. Yeah. That, that That's often a problem. It's late 90s, early 2000s, Topps Chrome stuff can get like that too. We've got a Honus Wagner frame. That, of course, will ship. Got a cool Joe DiMaggio frame. That'll ship to the Yankees, Michael. And we've got Jersey Kings, AJ Puck. That'll be for the X line and the Athletics. Mookie Betts, he's up to bat right now. One and one. And then on second and third. And there's Gallery of Stars, Francisco Lindor, 23 out of 25. He's going to go on a hot streak soon. Mets, the X line, he's got to. Too good to be this bad. Nice, Michael. Yeah, that might be one of our last breaks of the night. I don't think we really... One left now, just the Rangers, and that's only 50 bucks. So I think Tier 1 might close things out for us tonight. Unless we're a little ahead of schedule, which we might be, and then I'll be able to do uh, maybe another quick 5 or 10 minute break. That's 1 for 2, 2 run single already. 3 and 1 now. They might walk him. First base open. Do you want to face Corey Seager? Base is loaded. I don't. Oh. Nice. Pokes in a single to right field. There you go, Mookie. Ooh, if the Dodgers soft bats start heating up a little bit. Sounds like a lot of Dodgers fans in Anaheim. There's Tristan McKenzie. Dual relic and autograph. Maybe another one TJ would be interested in. This goes to the X line. Got Andres Jimenez. Got a bit of his Mets, old Mets team patch back there, but this goes to the Indians to 50 for the X line. Cleveland, this is for you. Seeger loops in a single in front of Mike Trout. Tier one sold out. Nice. No, we will not. I think that's our last case of tier one. 
Until we have more. <laughs> I don't know. Keep checking this. I think for tonight, I don't know if we have any more to repost. But I'll check when I go to the back. And grab that tier one case later tonight. All right, final box. Nice. Justin Turner rips one down the left field line. Mookie Betts scoring. Turner with a double. Dodgers up 11 nothing now, top of the fifth. Two outs. Men on second and third, still threatening. Max Muncy, let's go. All right, final box here in Diamond Kings Baseball. Random team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for breaking with us. Appreciate it. Let's see, let's see if we can finish strong. Maybe a train whistle hit would be cool. Ooh, close. Goose Gossage. Signature portraits autograph. And I think that was seven out of seven. Yankees, that's Michael Brinson. Just a couple off the train whistle, but still pretty nice. Definitely part of the all mustache team. Nice. Uh, no, the whole team's still here, Jonathan Ken. Jason does Sundays and Mondays, but I think he's getting his second vaccine, so he won't be on YouTube on Sunday and Monday. And then he does uh, Instagram the other three nights of the week. And then Sean does a few late nights on YouTube and then does Instagram on Sundays and Mondays. So he's on the Instagram channel there. And Teddy's on Instagram uh, Fridays and, Friday and Saturday nights. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live. Teddy Jaspies is there. doing his thing the art of hitting Ted Williams he's pretty good and there's bat kings John Carlos Stan he has been the king with the bat lately another one for Michael and the Yankees uh, Jonathan in fact we probably probably looking for more breakers at this point and Nick's been busy buying stuff for the shop and Buying single cards for the hit packs that's on on at Jaspie's Breaks now and putting all the stuff on the website and buying and selling from all the locals around here so that keeps him busy just running the running the back end of the site Instagram channel we started about a year or so ago there's the recap right there there you go everybody personal breaks and hit packs there you go, another another hit for the Dodgers. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Go Dodgers. Thanks to you. Go you for getting into this break, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for that. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.